From ancient marvels to breathtaking landscapes, each UNESCO World Heritage Site captures a unique chapter of human history and the wonders of the world. With over 11,050 protected sites scattered across 167 countries worldwide, the opportunity for discovery is vast. In this video, we give you a tour of the most beautiful sites. Here are the 10 must-see UNESCO World Heritage Sites to check off your bucket list. Number 10. Easter Island. Easter Island is a small, triangular-shaped island that is roughly 2,300 miles or 3,700 kilometers west of Chile. It is one of the most isolated inhabited islands in the world. The island was first discovered by Europeans on Easter Sunday in 1722, which is how it got its name. It is believed that Polynesian settlers arrived on the island around the 12th century, and they are responsible for the creation of the iconic Moai statues. The most famous feature of Easter Island is the Moai, which are massive stone statues carved from compressed volcanic ash. These statues were created by the Rapa Nui people and are believed to represent ancestors or important tribal figures. The construction and transportation of these statues are remarkable feats, and the Moai are scattered around the island, both near the coast and inland. Today, Easter Island is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and efforts are made to preserve and protect its archaeological sites and unique cultural heritage. Tourism has become a significant industry, with visitors coming to see the mysterious Moai and learn about the island's history. Number 9. The Great Wall of China The construction of the Great Wall of China occurred over several centuries and involved different dynasties. The earliest walls and fortifications were built as early as the 7th century BC, but the majority of the existing wall is from the Ming Dynasty, which was from 1368 until 1644 AD. The primary purpose of the Great Wall was to provide defense against invasions and raids by nomadic tribes from the north, particularly the Mongols and Xiongnu. The wall also served as a means of border control, allowing the Chinese to regulate trade and immigration. The Great Wall is not a single continuous wall, but a series of walls and fortifications built at different times and locations. The total length of the Great Wall, including all its branches and sections, is approximately 21,196 kilometers, or 13,170 miles. Along the wall, there are numerous watchtowers and forts. These structures served both defensive and strategic purposes, allowing soldiers to spot approaching enemies, communicate across long distances, and store supplies. The Great Wall of China was designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1987. It is considered one of the most impressive architectural feats in history. Number 8. Dubrovnik Dubrovnik is a historic city located on the Adriatic seacoast in the southern part of Croatia. Known for its well-preserved medieval architecture, stunning coastal views, and rich cultural heritage, Dubrovnik is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and a popular tourist destination. Dubrovnik has a long and storied history that dates back to the 7th century. It became a major maritime and trade power in the Middle Ages, known as the Republic of Ragusa. The city's well-preserved medieval walls and historic buildings bear witness to its prosperous past. The heart of Dubrovnik is its old town, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Enclosed by impressive medieval walls, the old town is a maze of narrow streets and alleys filled with historic buildings, churches, and squares. Dubrovnik is famous for its well-maintained city walls, which provide panoramic views of the city and the Adriatic Sea. Walking along the walls is a popular activity for visitors, offering a unique perspective of the old town and its surroundings. Number 7. Iguazu National Park Iguazu National Park is a protected natural area located in the northeastern part of Argentina, near the borders with Brazil and Paraguay. The park is renowned for its spectacular Iguazu Falls, one of the most awe-inspiring waterfall systems in the world. The main attraction of the park is the Iguazu Falls, a series of approximately 275 individual falls along the Iguazu River. The falls are surrounded by lush subtropical rainforest, and the roar of the cascading water is truly impressive. The most famous of these falls is the Devil's Throat, Garganta del Diablo, where a significant volume of water plunges into a narrow chasm, creating a breathtaking display. 
The national park is known for its rich biodiversity, housing a variety of plant and animal species. The rainforest surrounding the falls is home to numerous species of birds, butterflies, mammals, and reptiles. The park has been designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site for its ecological importance. The park provides well-maintained trails and walkways that allow visitors to explore the natural beauty of the area. There are various vantage points that offer stunning views of the falls and the surrounding landscape. Number 6. Meteora Meteora is a unique and stunning rock formation located in central Greece near the town of Kalambaka. The word meteora translates to suspended in the air or in the heavens, and the name aptly describes the towering sandstone pillars that rise dramatically from the plains of Thessaly. The most distinctive aspect of Meteora is the complex of monasteries perched atop these towering rock pillars. Originally, monks seeking solitude and refuge from the tumultuous times in the 14th century established the first monastic communities. Over time, the number of monasteries increased. Meteora was recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1988. The monasteries represent a remarkable blend of nature and human accomplishment. Originally, access to the monasteries was challenging and required the use of removable ladders and nets. But today, stairs and pathways have been constructed to facilitate access for visitors. The views from the top are breathtaking, offering panoramic vistas of the surrounding landscape. Number 5. Petra Located in the southwestern desert of Jordan, Petra is an ancient city renowned for its rock-cut architecture and sophisticated water conduit system. It served as the capital of the Nabataean Kingdom in the 4th century BCE and later became a significant trading center in antiquity. One of Petra's most iconic structures is al Khazneh, also known as the Treasury, which is a well-preserved mausoleum with an intricately carved facade. The monastery, al Dair, is another notable carved structure in Petra, larger than the treasury and accessible through a hike that offers a rewarding view from the top. Petra features several royal tombs, such as the palace tomb, Corinthian tomb, and urn tomb, carved into the cliffs and likely used for important individuals and rulers. The city's importance waned during the Byzantine era due to shifting trade routes, leading to its eventual abandonment and obscurity in the Western world. Rediscovered by Swiss explorer Johann Ludwig Burckhardt in 1812, Petra is now a UNESCO World Heritage Site and a major tourist attraction in Jordan. Number 4. Pyramids of Giza The Pyramids of Giza, situated on the Giza Plateau near Cairo, Egypt, comprise three main pyramids built during the Fourth Dynasty of the Old Kingdom, which was around 2580 until 2560 BCE. The Great Pyramid of Khufu, the largest and oldest, originally stood at 146.6 meters or 481 feet, but now measures 138.8 meters or 455 feet due to the loss of outer casing stones. Constructed for Pharaoh Khufu, it consists of an estimated 2.3 million limestone and granite blocks, each weighing around 2.5 tons. It is believed to have been built over a 20-year period. The Pyramid of Khafre, associated with Pharaoh Khafre, appears taller from a distance due to its higher elevation. Adjacent to it is the Great Sphinx, a colossal limestone statue with the head of a pharaoh and the body of a lion. The Pyramid of Menkare, the smallest of the three, stands at 65 meters or 213 feet and was originally 66.5 meters or 218 feet before the loss of outer casing stones. It is associated with Pharaoh Menkare. These pyramids showcase remarkable engineering and organizational skills. The exact construction methods remain debated, with theories ranging from sledges and ramps to more speculative ideas involving advanced technology. The Pyramids of Giza became inscribed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1979. Number 3. Sigiria. Sigiria dates back to the 5th century AD, when it was built by King Kashapa I. The site served as his capital for several years. The fortress is situated atop a massive column of rock that rises nearly 200 meters or 660 feet above the surrounding plains. The summit of the rock contains the ruins of the palace complex, including remnants of the king's palace, pools, and other structures. One of the most distinctive features of Siguria 
is the Lion's Gate, which originally had a massive lion carved into the rock, giving the site its alternative name, Lion Rock. Unfortunately, only the gigantic paws remain today. As you ascend the rock, you can also see the famous Sigiriya frescoes. These paintings depict celestial maidens and are considered one of the earliest surviving examples of ancient Sri Lankan art. Sigiriya was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1982, recognizing its cultural significance and the impressive architectural and engineering feats achieved by its builders. Number 2. Angkor Wat In the province of Siem Reap, Cambodia, Angkor Wat reigned supreme as a testament to the Khmer Empire's architectural prowess. Built in the 12th century, this vast temple complex initially dedicated to Hindu god Vishnu was later transformed into a Buddhist sanctuary. Angkor Wat's grandeur lies in its intricate carvings, extensive bas-reliefs, and towering spires. The temple complex, surrounded by a vast moat, is designed to represent Mount Meru, a cosmic mountain in Hindu mythology. Angkor Wat is not just a historical relic, it's a symbol of Cambodia, proudly displayed on the national flag. Recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1992, it stands as one of Southeast Asia's most important archaeological wonders. As the sun sets over the magnificent spires of Angkor Wat, it paints a silhouette against the Cambodian sky, leaving visitors captivated by its timeless beauty. Number 1. Machu Picchu Nestled in the heart of the Andes Mountains in Peru, Machu Picchu stands as a testament to the ingenuity of the Inca civilization. Built in the 15th century, this awe-inspiring citadel was likely the retreat for the Inca Emperor Pachacuti. The architecture is a marvel of precision, featuring intricate stonework without the use of mortar. Temples, terraced fields, and residential areas dot the landscape, showcasing the sophistication of Inca engineering. At an altitude of over 7,970 feet, Machu Picchu offers breathtaking views of the Urubamba River Valley and the Andean Peaks, creating a setting that feels almost otherworldly. Recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1983, Machu Picchu is not just a physical marvel, but a cultural treasure, symbolizing the grandeur of the Inca Empire. And that's all for today's video on the best UNESCO World Heritage Sites. We hope you enjoyed this video. Let us know in the comments which of these places you would like to visit, and don't forget to like this video, turn on your notifications, and subscribe to our channel for more travel videos like this. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.